All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're talking about PewDiePie and the VTuber drama. So if you've watched any of the recent PewDiePie videos, he's pretty much not been showing his face, right? He's been using this sort of virtual avatar. He's used a bunch of different ones, and they are all very scuffed. Um, it's pretty obvious he's not really serious about this at all because the avatar itself is super clunky. It barely makes any facial expressions. It just looks very unnatural and pretty much it's pretty obvious that it's a joke, right? The joke being that Dream and Corpse, these two massive YouTubers who don't show their face, recently blew up, right? These are two faceless YouTubers that absolutely skyrocketed in popularity, presumably because they don't show their face, right? That's obviously not the reason. They've got their respective crates, skills, and personality. But obviously this is an inside joke. PewDiePie is just kind of memeing. He's like, okay, I can get more famous by not showing my face, despite being number one most handsome face in the world, officially ranked, you know? So pretty much what happened was that he adopted these funny avatars into his video, and Twitter kind of lost it. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar familiar with the term gatekeeping. Um, essentially, it's when you don't want others to enjoy or, or take part in something you enjoy and take part in. For example, if I like Pokemon, I would be like, oh my god, PewDiePie is playing Pokemon on his channel now. All the cringe normies that watch him are gonna show up and ruin Pokemon now. Boo hoo. That's essentially what happened with the VTuber scene. If you don't know what VTubers are, they are like this new brand of YouTuber. They don't show their face, but they use these virtual avatars. And these are actually really good, right? They're super high quality. It really makes it feel like there's a real life anime girl kind of sitting and playing games. But yeah, today we're talking about the whole situation. Let's see what the fuss is about. Before we start, hit that subscribe button, dude. We are getting closer to 500k, and I'd like to hit it before I die, okay? I might die tomorrow. You never know. Better hit subscribe. Okay. My dying wish, man. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to the video. Okay, so Deaf Noodles tweets out, guess who's canceled? PewDiePie getting backlash after doing a reverse face reveal and becoming a VTuber. Some express concern over what what effect it could have on the VTuber community, saying, do you really want edgy audience alongside of all the white supremacists in the audience? Okay, so right off the bat, you can probably tell what kind of people we are dealing with. These are the, oh my god, PewDiePie is a racist, super edgy, super toxic, transphobe, homophobe, your mama-phobe, attach any word possible to the slander PewDiePie's name type of people, right? It's like they um, went on Google, they read one extremely biased Vox article, and now they think they're educated on who PewDiePie is. Here we have this person with a VTuber slash anime type of profile picture saying, it's 100% naive to think that PewDiePie being a VTuber is a good thing for indie VTubers. Sure, there is more exposure to the scene, but do you really want that edgy audience alongside all of the white supremacists in the audience, regardless of what you think of him personally. Okay, so what you just did there is you spelled out I'm a moron in Twitter lingo, right? So you're saying, regardless of what you think of him personally, and then you're assuming that his audience is white supremacists, so clearly you've already said your opinion here. He plays games, dude. You, you gotta calm down. It's always these people with a heart, you know, a super loving in their Twitter bio. They've got a flag, a symbol, a bunch of random letters. Like, like why do you put that in your Twitter bio when you're literally not accepting of a single person. You should literally be happy he's brought more exposure to the VTuber scene than pretty much anybody else. Now this person follows it up by saying, I won't engage in further discourse about PewDiePie himself. I've done enough of that already in my life. He's a white supremacist and endorsing him is an endorsement of white supremacy. There is no debate on this. Okay, so let me get this straight. You make a completely wrong judgment about a person based on rumors and lies and exaggerated stories, and then you're unwilling to debate anyone on this topic because obviously you will lose, and on top of that, you slander some more and then, and then claim you're a, some sort of accepting person. Moron, wow. Then they followed up by saying, if I see any VTuber being hyped that PewDiePie is a VTuber, especially at this point in time with all of the discourse and controversy that has happened over the years, I won't hesitate to block you and let others know that you're excited about a white supremacist. Fun fact, he's donated more money to these causes than you have in your entire life. Like, how are you gonna talk and have no action? Like, are you actually gonna donate $900,000? If not, please shut up. All right, here we got another 
another person saying PewDiePie becoming a VTuber freaking scares me. Please, for the love of God, VTuber community, push him the frick out of it. Super accepting, dude. Y your bio has a bunch of phrases that would indicate that you are a very loving person, yet you practice the complete opposite, and you want to you want to like shove someone out of the community who's not even like trying to join it. He's literally just memeing around. Okay, here we have this person who says, "Hello, I've heard PewDiePie is becoming a VTuber. If you support this, follow him or consume his content. Please unfollow me. I do not want you to be here." I mean, you're just gonna lose a lot of followers, but okay. <laughs> Another person says, "Honestly, the one thing I was super worried about was this VTuber thing is gonna be adopted by racists, and the novelty won't be pure anymore." The novelty won't be pure anymore. Like, what is he doing? I don't understand. Like, just by using a virtual avatar, somehow it is affecting you who he literally doesn't even know who you are like wh why don't you just continue doing whatever you're doing and mind your own business right why you gotta gatekeep it so bad as if he's gonna like to intoxicate the community or something so pretty much after all these tweets pewdiepie was trending the whole day and the hashtags were filled with a bunch of hate for him i mean that's why he left twitter right he got sick of it just constantly being picked on and constantly having these lies and slander get so many likes it's just got to be frustrating to deal with this person says of course he is brings new fans in will bring in new viewers that are interested but will bring the toxicity his fans carry so be careful yeah the, the toxic fans who post memes every week you know, the ones who raise money for charitable causes, the ones that are super loving to pretty much everyone. Sure, not all 100 million of them, but uh, my question is like, do you expect everybody in an entire country to be perfect? I mean, countries of criminals, and so does PewDiePie's fan base, dude, 100 million people. There's gonna be some terrible people in there. Another person responds, as I've said, probably a bad thing overall, especially for LGBTQ plus VTubers. I don't understand, he's not against LGBT, what, what is going on here? Not looking to dwarfsplain here, just I would advise considering that being one of the largest content creators out there, engaging in our subculture will bring more eyes and attention to it. I hope this yields a net positive. I hope no no one has to endure harassment from this. Dude, I'm so confused. They're acting like this is a Leafy's community times 500. Like, no, this is a PewDiePie community. They're not out here like raiding people, spamming comments anywhere. I think this one was the funniest tweet of them all. Bruh, what is he doing? Why are YouTubers trying to cash in on our stuff? Ugh. Okay, man, this is just a joke at this point. Okay, PewDiePie is cashing in on VTubing. That is the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. Okay, let's just bring up a few facts, okay? Number one, he's richer than you, your mama, and your grandmama, okay? He doesn't need to cash in on anything. Number two, if he wanted to cash in on something, he would keep his membership money, you know, which is literally $200,000 per month, which he's donating every single time. Fact number three, he's got like 500 brand deals, like he's got enough money. Switching to VTubing is probably a bad thing for him because it's making him less popular with all this garbage. It's not making him more popular. This was a joke, you know? It's making him more hated because apparently you guys are the most unreasonable community out there. I don't know if this is the VTubing community, but whoever's out here on Twitter just gatekeeping this garbage, I mean, you, you guys need to stop. Okay, we got another one of these psychopaths. Um, PewDiePie is an alt-right pandering fascist pile of garbage. <laughs> Don't give him any attention for getting a VTuber rig. You know, there's a word for you people. It's delusional, okay? Now, somebody pointed out how the VTubing community is not pure at all. Remember that person who was like, oh, PewDiePie is going to make it not pure. So this person says, ah, oh, yes, the pure community that has, you know, P stars, individuals who talk about how much they want to peg others, and those whose personalities are so bad. Oh, what a pure community. So there were two things that were trending. One was PewDiePie. YouTuber PewDiePie received a mixed reaction on his latest video in which he appears as a virtual character or VTuber. And then simultaneously, this was also trending, VTuber Uprising. Virtual streamers, also known as VTubers, have planned an online uprising celebrating their community. Honestly, it was kind of unfortunate timing because they decided to like celebrate or something and the PewDiePie was just memeing and then they got mad or something. I'm pretty sure majority of the community doesn't care. It's just like this minority who, who just screams super, super loud. Okay, just being honest, um, I don't think this is gonna last long at all because number one, it's a goddamn meme. Number two, PewDiePie doesn't want to offend anybody and when he sees all these people getting mad, he'll probably just walk away even though it's not his fault at all. Number three, it's just stupid to use a VTuber when you have face cam. Okay, um, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you did enjoy. I, I said that twice. Okay, thank you for watching. 
Let me know what you thought about all of this in the comments below. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.